What's going on, you gamers? Today we're back with some more Outriders Worldslayer. What we're covering today is all of what I believe are the best weapon mods you should be looking out for, what you're going to want to grab, have for those tier 3s and such, in order to make a really powerful build. So if that interests you, stay tuned. That's coming up next. Welcome back everybody, today we're delving into a little bit more Worldslayer and I'm going to be covering what I think are the best mods you should be looking at for in order to pick up and that you're going to want on your weapons to make a truly powerful build. As always if this video helps you out a like would be appreciated and if you'd like to become a member of the channel then why not hit that subscribe and bell. But for today we're going to go over to the crafting bench when I can remember where it is. Ah, right next to it. Now, just in case you don't know, when you're looking for the God Roll items, most times, just down here, the best ones will be rolling with those tier 3s. There are a couple of niche items, say for example, anom Anomaly Enhancement, when I can speak properly, the tier 2 can be very, very good in this slot as well. But in most situations, you're looking for the tier 3s to be rolling in this slot in order to get a God Roll weapon. So when that happens, pick it up, chuck it in your stash, you may be able to make something really powerful with it. So for our tier 1s, we are going to completely bypass them. I wouldn't say anything is extremely powerful in the tier 1s. The only one that may work with a rapid fire gun, possibly if you were going for some kind of a crit build and just wanted the random crit rather than the actual crit, crit headshot or something, but I think it would be a very niche build. We're going to bypass all of these because they're not the strongest mods you can get. For the tier 2s, this one right here I'd probably say is the only one you would be looking at. The Anomaly Enhancement can work absolutely amazing in some builds now, especially if you're going for that hybrid build and you're trying to smash a lot of Anomaly power but you want it converted over to firepower. A Trickster is definitely one that can take advantage of this, as I'm sure a few other builds will be able to as well. But moving on to the really juicy ones, the tier 3s. These are going to be the ones you're looking out for that are going to give you the ba most bang for your buck and are really going to make your build powerful as well as having a lot of fun because some of them absolutely look amazing. So kicking it off and we have Dark Sacrifice. Don't think this is rubbish just because it has had an absolutely massive nerf. I cannot for the life of me remember what this was in New Horizon but if my memory serves me correctly it was 75% weapon damage at one point. Now it's down to 25, which isn't quite as good. So a lot of people are just going to kick this straight to one side. Dark Sacrifice is still one of the best mods you can put on for any really high power weapon build. If you've got a lot of firepower, even though this takes off 50% of your health, if you can make it work and you can make yourself survivable, chuck this in one of those slots and you'll do an absolute abundance of weapon damage because of this mod. Next up, and we're going to be going over Death Ray. Death Ray is one that I thought was a little bit lackluster at first, but I believe this can have quite a few interactions with some builds. It doesn't state it here, but it does actually apply the burn effect, and they are going to be aiming down the sights constantly. This allows you to get some really nice and easy headshots, I found, with that line of sight. Also, it does a fair chunk of damage. So this one's doing round about 500k every second. Obviously it would go up or down depending on your item level, but if you need a way to apply burn and you want to be constantly firing this, this could be a really nice one to put on any weapon, especially those I found with slightly bigger magazines. Another one to look out for is Defranome. This is a really unique mod. It's something you would probably think you'd be seeing on your armor slot. They've done it with a couple of things in this game there, where rather than it being on your armor slot, it's on your weapon or vice versa. Defranome is the only one you can get currently, I believe, that actually gives you firepower or anomaly power on your weapon mods rather than your armor. So if you've got a lot going on with your armor, but you're lacking a little bit of it, this may well work out for you, especially if you've probably got a hybrid build going on. When two of your equipped skills are on cooldown, receive a certain amount of firepower, otherwise if two of them are on cooldown, then you're going to get anomaly power instead. In the right build, with the right setup, I could see this being absolutely amazing, and it's definitely one to watch out for. Jumping straight across, and we have Dimensional Rockets. From what I've seen so far, I believe this is probably in the top one or two slots for highest damage. Whenever I've been using it and testing it, it's come very, very high compared to all of the other mods, and it does a ridiculous amount of damage, mainly because of its cooldown only being on two seconds. 
I think they may adjust that to three at some point because critical shots fire four rockets in the direction of the four closest enemies. Each rocket deals 839,864 damage. The damage is high, the cooldown is low. Great for a boss, great for any time there's a lot of enemies close to each other. If you get this in a free slot, it can make that weapon an absolute god roll, so make sure to watch out for it, as it's well worth having for that extra damage. Jumping over to one that's tried and tested, and that's Fortress. This has had many adjustments over the year, and now it's slightly different again, I believe. Shots increase your current armor and resistances by 5%, stacking up to three times. At the maximum stacks, the buff is doubled and additionally grants 20% damage increase for 10 seconds. It's on a 0.2 second cooldown, you might as well say it's not on a cooldown. This is well worth having. It's not quite as strong, I think, as it used to be. At one point, it was 43%, massive, massive buff didn't give you any benefit of your resistance or armor however so this is still really really good it's 20 percent flat damage increase so whatever you're doing and it's going to give you a little bit of survivability if you get this on your third slot or you can put it onto any weapon you pretty much can't go wrong on any build with it to be perfectly honest although i find that it does work best most times in your anomaly builds speaking of anomaly builds and we have mages rage this is pretty much the big boy of your anomaly builds if you're running one and you get this make sure to chuck it on critical shots grant a 10 percent anomaly power bonus for 15 seconds with stacking up to four times it's gonna help you with your ad clear it's gonna help you in every situation as long as you're firing your weapon mainly though it's going to give you a massive boost especially when you're aiming for those bosses because that's when you definitely want to be aiming for the headshots in order to give yourself that buff and get yourself the extra anomaly power by far the best anomaly mod at the moment so chuck it on your weapon whenever you can no doubt if you've been playing outriders you'll have heard of this one moaning winds this now reloading creates a strong blast around you dealing a really high amount of damage to enemies in range of eight meters 8 meters is very, very large. Not many mods in this game give you that type of range, and even though it's on an 8 second cooldown, if you want a build that does a lot of damage in their effect every 8 seconds just by popping your reload, or you want to be using it on your boss every once in a while, then Moaning Winds is still one of the strongest in the game. An absolute nuke machine whenever you want to tap that reload. Then you've just got to wait for the cooldown. Now I've not tried this one quite as much as some of the others, but Nicola's Revenge, from what I've seen so far, is also up there as one of the best mods in the game. Shots link up to 5 enemies with an 8 meter radius around the initial target, dealing 802,000 damage over 2 seconds to each of them as long as the initial target is alive. Basically, you're going to tap one of the elites, it's going to proc that, everything around it is going to take a significant chunk of damage. As long as the elite's got a nice bit of health about himself, that adds around him usually die before he does. If not, you could always focus away from him for a little bit, take some shots at something else, and apply Nicola's Revenge again. This does a lot more damage than I thought looking at the numbers. Like I said, I haven't tried it as much as some of the other mods, but I think if you're aiming for elites very often, because you know you've got this on, this could be one that does absolutely amazing on that ad clear. However, if you're after that boss nuke, stay away from this one, it's probably not the one, it's not gonna be the one for you. Over to our next one, and we have Omen. This, I would say, is my favorite mod in the game. It's definitely one of the best ones. I'd probably say it's the best one in the game currently, to be perfectly honest, just for everything it gives you. Shots launch a cover-piercing anomaly projectile that inflicts bleed. Deals a nice bit of damage. The damage it causes is not gonna be up there with a lot of the other mods. It's not bad, but you're using this for everything it gives to you plus that. Because as well as that, it's gonna mean they're receiving an additional 10% damage for three seconds. As long as you can apply a lot of damage within that time period, this I think is probably the best mod in the game. It's come down from 30%, which was just absolutely ridiculously overpowered. I liked it a lot better when it was like that, but even like this, because it gives you that bleed, because it gives you that damage, and because it gives you that additional damage received to them, it means you can quite easily put together a bleed build without having to muck around. Devastator probably would stay clear of this, because I believe they get bleed built into their new pack tree if I remember correctly, but from pretty much every other class, this one is amazing. What I would say though, if you're using this, make sure you've got, got at least one mod on your armor with extra damage to bleeding targets, otherwise you're probably not getting the most out of this. Shadow Comet, 
I absolutely love this. This used to be my favorite one that I had at all times. It's still very good. It's a great one just to just to clear ads, basically. It's not gonna be the strongest for single target on the bosses, but if you're just wanting to apply this every three seconds, taking out a lot of ads and doing a lot of additional damage, Shadow Comet is one of the easiest mods to use in the game and it will give you a nice number at the end. Some of the mods now do tend to come above this, but it's still a great one to use in a lot of situations. So jumping over to Ultimate Storm Whip, this is just such a damaging mod. Very possibly gonna be coming top spot if you've got it on. For single targets, it's absolutely amazing. Shots bring down lightning on enemy, dealing 1,244,000. Like I said, it's gonna go up, gonna go down on the level every three seconds. It's a big old chunky number, especially as soon as you're playing at those high levels, this goes up massively and seeing that come down on people's head and getting that big old damage is enough to take a lot of things out. Works well on single ads, works amazing on bosses, this is just a great one for nuking enemies. And speaking of nukes, last but definitely not least, we have Violent Rupture. I really thought this would come lower than this because of the cooldown, but whenever I was trying it, it must be because of the damage within a six meter radius. It often came around about the same. It was massive. It really, really was. So if you've got a lot of ads around, this may well come above lightning over here. If it's just for single target, then it will come slightly below it. But Violent Rupture still does a really significant number. Shots create a volcanic explosion, then the higher amount of damage within a six meter radius with a five second cooldown. I'd say this is one of the better ones to put on the game because I found it was good for kind of single target and for group clearing. So it could definitely work on pretty much any weapon. Right, you gamers, hopefully I've not taken up too much of your time. If there's any that you think I've missed off that you really enjoy using, then drop it in the comments. There'll be a lot more outriders from me, a lot more hints and tips, and just some things to watch out for. As always, Full Things Gaming, Full Things Xbox. Take care. I'll see you on the next day.